He has the wisdom of not only 2,000 years of Christian culture, but of the entire history of Western civilization. Hopefully, he'll only share part of that tonight. <laughs> but I think we're all very pleased when a man such as Father Rutler uh, dedicates himself to serving the life of the church, we are all improved, blessed, and tonight he will receive an honor he well deserves. Father George William Rutler. Well, I very much appreciate that honor. I, uh, First of all, I, I think I have, without exaggeration, uh, spoken in this club at least 200 times. Um, but I can honestly say that that eloquent introduction I had this evening from uh, uh, Father Mary was by far the most uh, recent. <laughs> I would only uh, accept this honor if it were understood that it's a, an oblique way of honoring Father Benedict uh, Groeschel. I knew him many, uh, many years, and he made a rather a career of quoting me on occasion, and uh, you know, Yogi Berra said, a lot, I didn't say a lot of the things I said. <laughs> but he did once tell me that he was in LaGuardia Airport, and a woman walked up to him and said, I watch you on EWTN. You are Father Rutler. <laughs> and we're not exactly identical twins, of course. <laughs> he claims that after he told me this, uh, I went into a depression for a week. But... <laughs> but he gave me much advice very freely and very uh, wisely. Sometimes I'm referred to as a public thinker. I don't know how to take that because uh, the only public thinkers I know are some of the unfortunate people I see talking to themselves on 34th Street. <laughs> it is true, as been remarked, that we are in challenging times. You can be a pessimist or an optimist. A pessimist will say, Things could not be any worse than they are now. But as an optimist, I say, yes, they can. <laughs> uh, I, I was something of a precocious child, which meant uh, nobody liked me. <laughs> and uh, when my little friends were reading Superman comic books, I was reading the pseudepigraphic uh, epistles of Theodore of Mops Poesia, <laughs> which was a subtle indication that I might have had a priestly vocation. And that bore fruit, and I've inherited the joys of the priesthood. Of course, we're always told that a priest is a servant of the people. Uh, I've never been a fundamentalist about that. Uh, <laughs> but to serve other people is really to serve uh, uh, our Lord and um, with all our failings and weaknesses, I, I take great consolation in the fact that on all the major issues of life, I've always been right. <laughs> uh, uh, when we celebrate the gift of uh, infants, we give thanks that all of us uh, of our children. If we talk about good counsel, well, uh, I'm sure all of you, the way I do, spend a little bit of each day reading uh, Thomas Aquinas's Secunda Secundae, <laughs> in which he uh, talks about counsel as a virtue and prudence as a virtue, and they're twin virtues. Prudence is right, uh, uh, reason uh, at work. Counsel is a little more subtle. It's how we learn how to put that right reason to work through the teachings of the church, of the saints, of our Lord himself, uh, and um, from our human experience, our failures, as well as our uh, uh, triumphs. We talk about uh, babies. I, uh, I was one myself, so I'm told. <laughs> Uh, Father Mary mentioned my beloved father in the war, 
And I'm told that so when his ship at the end of the war was in Port Newark, it was under quarantine, so he couldn't leave. But because he was an officer, my mother was allowed to carry me as a newborn onto the uh, ship. And I'm told that my uh, diaper was changed on that ship. So <laughs> I can boast that uh, uh, on a ship of the fleet in the Second World War, I made my contribution. <laughs> Or, albeit in a, uh, an inferior uh, capacity. <laughs> well, anyway, uh, I would just end with a, a recollection that I've uh, referred to some frequently. Uh, this was the late 60s. I went with my mother and father to the then City Opera at Lincoln Center. A performance of Gounod's Faust. And you know, in the fifth act, Marguerite goes mad. Uh, she's become pregnant. She has a baby. And in her madness, she dashes the baby to the ground, kills the baby, and sings a wonderful aria, by the way. <laughs> uh, and we were in a box right overlooking the stage. It was, we were close enough to uh, see that that was a doll, of course. But my mother, being a mother, let out a shriek. And I, being a rather pompous post-adolescent, was embarrassed at that. But I've, ever since then, I've remembered that cry of uh, my mother. It was a cry of a woman uh, who knows what it is to bring a child uh, into the world. <laughs> audience participation. <laughs> and what does the scripture say, you know? Uh, there was a cry from Rama, and it was the cry of a mother uh, mourning her children. Well, uh, we can give thanks that the good counsel Holmes uh, lets that cry be heard, and it has done so very much good, and we pray that it continues to do even more good. Thank you.